Okay guys, and today we'll be doing the ProTube VR. And she looks sleek. It's got a really comfortable, nice lanyard there as well, so when you want to pull out your pistol. Now it does come pre-assembled, but these are all the different parts all separated out, which just shows you the versatility where you can move different parts around to make it different um, and better suit certain guns. Uh, just to even show just a tip of the iceberg of some of the configurations you can do with the gun uh, rig is these ones here. So you can also um, buy it for the Oculus touch controllers as well. Just change the pod I believe on it. Um, but you can use all these different configurations, you know, like the P90, the MP5. Is that an L95? I don't know, there's an Org there as well. Um, but yeah, you can you can change it on the fly and it's really, really quick to do um, when you just want to bend some of the poles to make it a better position. And the controller pods are uh, 3D printed with like a hard plastic on the outside, but then it's like a, um, a grippy plastic on the inside by the looks of it because it keeps them nice snug fit and stops them from dropping out when you do just have it on the lanyard. Another thing I really like about it is the cheek rest. It really does add to the immersion and it only weighs 654 grams so it's really not going to be that heavy to sort of um, carry around within a game as well. Um, but yeah, it does still feel enough that it, it feels like there's something there. Um, in your hands. So I thought I'd put the uh, pro tube to the litmus test and actually try it out in VR in one of the games which uh, I think would actually help in the meat section and in the uh, in the sources game um, but I just want to try it out just nice in this in, in one of my favorite parts of HV VR which is the indoor range. Got a lot of nostalgia in this room because this was one of the first rooms that we had to go into um, and it only had a few guns in at the time. So let's just have a little fire with this to begin with. And it really does steady your shot a lot more because if you see it on the video beforehand, it actually holds it in the cups like that. So once you put your gun up like that, it's not actually, um, you, you have to do less to get it to aim center basically. It's, and it feels like it's something in your hand. So it adds to that immersion as well. Um, you don't actually have to hold the controller at that point. You can actually hold part of the metal tube. Um, which obviously it doesn't feel exactly like it's a gun because that metal tube's a little bit smaller than what it should be but it definitely gives that extra effect of immersion and I mean already look at that with the first shot I was pretty close to the bullseye then I wasn't even really concentrating or trying I was just pinging a shot off so let's lean forward a little bit So you see the accuracy change there from some of the other shots that you might have seen us take when I've just got the controllers there. We're really getting the shots quite close into the centre there. So let's have a few more. And what I'll do is I'll see if I can change it over for the right left hand view which is pretty difficult to aim with because I'm switching my arms around as well. Yeah, I'd say that's just because I'm using, whoa, hey, got even got a bullseye with the left hand. Um, I do actually feel a little bit more unsteady with the left hand compared to the right. Let's see if we can, nah, just doesn't feel right on that side, so. So that's really not too bad at all. It really does definitely increase your accuracy with the guns and it increases the immersion with the guns. Um, one of the cool things is that once you've got it set up for these types of guns that have all got this here, then you can just easily pick up another gun. Now usually I'd have the lanyard on here, but it's really difficult to, it, the lanyard actually keeps on put, pushing against my microphone. So it'll just knack all the audio up for us. So um, 
that's an unfortunate thing because I'd usually have the yan lanyard on instead of kind of half holding it with my hand, which is a little bit awkward. But it's not awkward when you've got that lanyard on. So let's have a little pop pop out of this there like that. Just really goes into the cups nicely as well. You can just grab your gun and then pop it into the cup like that. And then that's you steady for your shot, ready to go. Now I don't really like these sights, but we'll give it a go. Tell you what, let's try a different sight because I don't find the same accuracy <laughs> with sights like that. Is that a magnifier? No, it's a red dot one, so we'll pop that down as well. And then some of the guns, obviously, they've got different adjustment levels as well, so you can... Now, that's perfect there, actually. That don't have to adjust that at all, but if you, if you did want to adjust it, you can see there that you can adjust it upwards and you can adjust it downwards as well, depending on the gun. So that's doing that just on the fly as well without even taking the headset off. So lean forward a little bit. And I find that all you're doing is you're waiting for your red dot to go closest to the center spot as you can and then taking a fire. But obviously you have to cock the gun first and take the safety off. Oh dear. Right, there we go. Let's take it off fully automatic because that's quite sensitive. And obviously, oh, I mean, look at that. Look at all them in the centre spot there. That's just, it's crazy the, the, the increase in accuracy you get. And if you're playing something like Onward where it's multiplayer, you're going to need that extra level of accuracy to actually be able to compete because there's other people in Onward now using these as well. So if you're not using it and uh, you're just using the controllers, then you're going to be at a disadvantage, really. So as you can see, just a, a huge amount of bullets in that centre spot there, which is going to be a killed shot, headshot straight away, isn't it? So let's have a little look at some other guns with it as well. So as you can see, it's actually inside the pro tube there. All you do is nice and easy, it's flicking it out, and then you just get used to where it is without actually even looking at it eventually. It's like a, a sort of like a blind putting it in the pods, but since your hand's already on the pod as well, it does make it a lot easier to actually um, find where that pod is. This one's normally the hardest one to find, but I am pretty used to that as well. So one's already in the pod. Pop it in to reload it like that. Reload it, pop it in to load it, not reload it. And then you take the safety off. And if we actually find out, yeah, the cock's there on that one. And let's pop the hollow sight on there as well. So as you can see, we may have to adjust it a little bit. Yeah, so I just need it, if you can see there, it's just a little bit too low there. All you do is slightly adjust it up there, and then there you go, bang in the centre. So that's just a completely different gun, basically. It's got a different sort of angle at which it actually does it, uh, which it has a centre view for. And just being able to change that on the fly with the headset on is really advantageous, because you just don't have to take that headset off. So... hear the sound of that doesn't that sound awesome actually let's pop this see so close to the center spot there let's pop that back put that in the cups i'll just try to move over to the side here because i'm hitting it into my chaperone So that's pretty good accuracy there. Let's have a little shot down here as well, so we can pop it on our knee. And also I think, because you've got that 
cheek crest which kind of marries up with the back butt stock of the gun it actually steadies your head as well and it gets you into that aiming spot quicker than it would do if you're just trying to aim through your head with in, in mid-air basically you're steadying your head you're steadying the controllers which increases accuracy without a doubt the majority of these within that what one two third ring there majority of them in the third ring but a whole lot of them within that um second ring and in fact one exactly spot on in the center there so there's no doubt about it it's an absolutely fantastic piece of equipment and i know i think a lot of people will be thinking well is it really worth the money and genuinely in my honest opinion I would say that it is worth the money for that extra added um, accuracy and immersion and if you do play onward in this then without a doubt it would be worth it for that as well um, I can imagine my score increasing quite a lot now and onward with this one um, and I literally can't wait to get into onward with this as well so let's see what this gun's like <laughs> on fully automatic and we'll see if we can try and control the spray by putting pointing the gun downwards as we're actually shooting as well. <laughs> so as you can see, incredibly hard to control the spray on guns like that. Um, but I think that's the way it should be. It should be quite difficult to control a fully automatic spray without sort of controlling it, just how holding the trigger because I would reckon in real life as well that it would be pretty difficult as well and then you go there you go nice and easy to get the controllers out usually it would just hang down around here um, with the lanyard on and you can do other stuff with the controller if you want while it's hanging down you know just the height of the lanyard as well to make it shorter or longer or um, I was speaking to the guy who actually creates the creates this pro tube and he was saying that he's actually put the lanyard in a sort of central position so it's more more like this to your chest so that you literally just pluck it up like that pop it up like that and that's it there's no really really quickly you've got your sights straight on the ball there and there's the least possible time so that you can actually shoot your enemy so i think this is worth having a show as well so that people can see what it's like actually sort of loading a smaller more compact gun um because obviously we're dealing with the longer guns there so we'll just cock this back as well take the safety off i believe that'll be on uh, single fire at the moment so obviously we've had it set up for a longer gun there now all i'm doing is just twisting one of these um like a tighten screw thing and just pulling that back a little bit so we can pop this back a little bit here and then also cut that back a bit and then as we grab the gun from this angle here popping that back in and then Obviously, we're just going to adjust the angle to try and find out where that sweet spot is for the aim. And if I just pull this back a little bit, we now have, let's have a look. Yeah, we now have that sweet spot there. The only thing is, it's just a little bit further out than I'd like it, but it is actually still gripping the gun. So you still have that two hold mechanic working with the uh, gun that you've got. Um, you can't actually even take the whole pro tube apart and sort of have the, the there's two longer metal poles on, on the outside and a shorter one on the inner I believe. Now as I say you can take the full thing apart and sort of um, rearrange it to better suit your your guns that you prefer to use as well. I mean as you saw in the review the, the different sort of shapes that you can make with it and the different variations is, is really really good. So if we Let's just pop this back here. You've got a slightly different type of sight there. I don't know if you can see that. So maybe that sight might be a bit more accurate because the red dot's not as big. And we've got a bigger magnification there as well. But it is still moving about quite a bit. In fact, I don't even need to look back at that to see where I'm hitting because it's that 
magnified which also the more magnified it is the more that's pretty close to the bullseye if not bullseye yes see will it be more magnified every smaller little movement and adjustment is just sort of well magnified <laughs> That was, that was my fault, that was a terrible shot. Let's try and pop down here and hold this a little bit more just for that magnification being. So obviously as well, if you did take a little bit, let's see, it's just so crazy the, the accuracy increase on this game here. If you were taking just a little bit more time as well to let that red dot hover over the centre, then you would get even more increased accuracy. But I am a little bit impatient sometimes waiting for it to go over. And when I'm talking, it's obviously moving it up and down a little bit more. So... So I think that's a little bit more of me just aiming a little bit too low, but you can see the amount of bullets in that centre spot. And I mean, you could probably even look back at older videos and have a look at what my accuracy was like without the gun in this game. Um, and I wouldn't have had that many in that centre spot there without that. So it's really, really cool. Only one thing I would say about it is a, is a sort of small negative point is that on the inner, inner side of these metal tubes that he's got, does actually have like a little bit of rust on the inside so the outsides um, obviously chromed and, and protected so it won't rust on the outside but from the inside can't actually see it you have to take off obviously uh, take it apart to, to, to see the inside of the metal tube and actually see that rusted area um, which is on the inside but apart from that um, definitely definitely um, love the feel of it, I love the look of it and, and gaining that extra accuracy is just so, so cool. So awesome product. Um, if, you, if you obviously have that spare cash and you've got that onward, I would highly recommend getting the ProTube VR. Just take a look down below in the description if you want to have a look to see if, um, have a look at the website as well. Not only for the Vive, you can obviously get the pods which actually fit in for the Oculus Touch as well. So um, fantastic work um, from the guide as a pro tube. Well done, great product, and uh, maybe I'll see you in on onward one day, and I'll see you soon.